Hello everyone, welcome back for another video tutorial. So for this video, we are going to implement the function right here so that we can change the value of, we can add objects into the basket, okay? So now let me do this. So go to your um, product detail page and we are going to register. When you, whenever user click over here, we are going to add the objects into the basket. But if the object is there already, we just increment the value of QTY. Okay, so let's see if I can make this happen. So let me go to um, icon button here and we are going to register for, okay, let me put it this way, register for click functions. So that is on on pressed, like this, okay. On press function. And now you can go ahead and say add the item into basket okay so this is what I'm going to say I say hey store could you please add one item to basket so that's the function that I want to call and I will take store okay dot active products as the input now we haven't in, um, implement this function yet so we're gonna do it now so we will we'll move to my store and go down to these sections and then implement um, sections to add remove object from basket. So started with this function name in the previous one. Uh, I call this function as add one item to basket. So let's come back here, do the same thing. Okay, so that's going to be function that take products as the input and this is the end of function end of function end of function and we're gonna first to see phi if the products is already in the basket if that is the case just increment the QTY property by one all right so this is my intention so we're gonna have to be able to search if the product is there already i have the snippet for you but I, I recommend you to go step by step and do this by yourself but it's already listed right here from uh, line number i would say uh, line number yeah 90 so here 87 to line 100 okay so we can open this along the size and then you can have this as reference but this is it's easy to say that in order to check we, we look at the basket so we say hey basket basket could you please find first element for me find where now the element is basically the apple that is going to come out from searching it's gonna loop one by one into the basket and give us apple and then we can examine to see if apple is our apple that we are looking for so we say hey a dot if the id is match okay so we say um, is matched with our input which is p dot id okay then or else okay this is another function that we, we register is go going to return null mean nothing right so this is how we use these kinds of functions and the output we say file right now if file is not equal to new so that means it's there already okay so what you need to do is we just say hey go ahead and increment the value of QTY by one so that's increment operator increments operator by, by one but if it is there so it's gonna be L so if that sorry if this is not there okay if this is not new we increment but if it is new that means we have to create the new one so what we need is we just say hey uh, basket could you please add okay now when you add the new one then you just have to say we add the P input and basket with S sorry okay now let's review function take the input is active products then they check this object again all the object in the basket if there is an object with the same IDs that means we have already added once 
we're gonna have the object right here and it will not be and, and it's going to hit this statement because it's not going to be null and we increment the value of q to by by one but if it is not there then we add that object okay inside this okay so that's the rule what else now this is the function to add we also have the function to remove so we can go ahead and control C and then control V and I'm going to call remove from here now pretty sure that uh, whenever you call remove it's there already right it's there already so if so we're gonna move modify this a little bit so if we it's not no okay and file.qty is basically okay equal equal to one okay now if we just add one of this what we need to do is we just want to hey say hey basket could you please totally remove this object from yourself just in case that we add one only but if there is more than one add like keep adding put the word plus 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 it's gonna say for example three times the qty will be equal to three and that will hit another conditions so let me put open close bracket so it's gonna be else and for this case we just have to decrement the value of qt by by one all right so that's two cases add and remove you can also have another function to clear the basket we are not doing it right now so let me just keep it like that okay so these two functions these two functions uh, we can also we also need to notify things that if there are changes in the list okay we have to notify the listener so let's call notify listener here and then notify listener and whenever we call this one what happened for any pages that have listener okay it's going to notify all the part that utilize this listener and then update call the build function again to update the contents okay all right so let me go back here and go to my product list detail and we are going to now do the same thing for the second button here so we are going to register on press okay and I'm going to call store remove one item from basket and we're gonna take store dot active products as the input all right now to witness the change I think it might be a good idea to implement some indicators that tell us that the product is already added into the basket so if you look at the picture itself over here we have something as the indicator um, at the top so that um, I'm not sure if I have yes so over here you can see that we can go to this page to look up for uh, how many of them are there over here okay so I think it is better now that I'm going to show you another concept that is called action item if you go to this locations inside the scap folder let me fix the error first I think there is some error right here okay and it's somewhere over here they say oh I, don't, I forget to put say my colon now every time I add things in there the number of the quantity in the store in the basket is going to change right it's going to increase one by one I want to examine that number I can now look up to my app bar sections and then I can implement what we call actions action is basically the list of the menu item but I'm going to implement some easiness thing here so I'm going to just put text of a like this okay now let me show you the result right here so we are now in the detail page okay so now it's showing over here but I cannot see this clear so let me remove the word debug here I have to go to my main and for my material app I'm gonna have to put one option here so the option that I have to put is called debug debug show check mode banner should be false and that should go ahead and remove this all right so you can see that debug mode is now gone you have to rest hot restart your application okay 
so it's show a colon right so let me go back to my detail page but this time I want to show the total value of this so in order to get total here um, the quantity of the basket I will have to implement another functions so let me go to my store and implement another function called get uh, basket qty and this function what it does is it's going to have like total equal to zero at the beginnings and then make some mention of all the things in the basket so we're gonna have for loop and in i equal to zero i less than uh, basket dot lint i plus plus and have total equal to plus equal um, the basket itself as element of i dot qty because we can have multiple products okay and each product you can have um, more than one quantities and what we do is we return total as the output so now inside this store I implement another functions now I can call this function really easy I can go to my product detail and replace that with my store dot get basket qty dot to string like this okay all right now let me re hot restart and then um, let's put here and then click add you can see that this number have changed see it's already changed and it's pro become one two three four five let me do it again let me hot restart okay now look at this I first click you can see that's that is chain but what happened this one doesn't change right the reason for not changing is because uh, if you go to my store whenever I add things here I put the word notification already for add and for the remove as well okay and since okay let me check for the QTY at the beginning which is inside my store the value initial one is equal to QTY already okay so that means when you click plus at the beginning this value is is going to be one so that's why it show one okay so you can fix the physics by putting zero as well if you like okay now all right um, let's go for this one let's click again click click so you can see that this number chain as well I go back to my first one click click so that chain as well okay now we have implements the ways that allow us to make changes of the data okay and then get updated for this automatically in the store alright what else I want to do I want to be able to um, okay show you the basket page that how many of them are there in the basket okay so I think that's gonna be for another video tutorial Thank you.